up and how I do everything. Um, this may, not everything will work for you, but this is how I do it. And always, and I'm only my face disc out, and I'm from, and I'm only stuck. So obviously something's working. But yeah, this is my merit badge bag, and I'm gonna show you how I organize it. Um, I don't care if you see my last name. Um, but here's my Matt Badge Binder. Here's the cover of it. It says Anthony Nuccio, Matt Badge Binder, Chief Day 7, Style of New York. And then it has, like, the Boy Scout logo that says, um, Be Prepared and Boy Scouts from America. And then I also have this spy in it. Sorry, this thing just, like, flopped. Um, it says Anthony Nuccio, Matt Badge Binder, Chief Day 7. Um, this is the Staples Better Binder. Um, I'm going to Hawk Mountain Scout Reservation in a few weeks. So I would not, I might not use this binder. I might just use a, like a binder with like a uh, protective sheet on both sides. Only because I have two very, very important papers I'm going to be looking at. Like repeatedly, a lot, like every five seconds. My map and my selection so I know what to go to and how I get there. But yeah, this will work for now. And in case you're wondering, this is the Staples Better Binder. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. But yeah. In here is the fun part. Here I have the contact information of everybody in my troop. And it has a patrol. It has patrol. It has the name. Name. Um. It has the name of the patrol, the advisor of the patrol, the home and cell numbers, and the name, the position, and the patrol again. Like this. So yeah, that's just one thing. And over here. I also have a map of Hawk Mountain Scout Reservation, upside down. Um, and this is basically, I just got this off of PDF on Google. And then I also just got this. It's the extra tab divided, um, tab inserts so my tab dividers. So that's everything on that plot. And those are my, few of my most important papers that I really need to keep handy. Um, I already have 12 map badges, so obviously this thing works for me. Now, over here, oh, I have a hole punch rule. Basically, what you do, I'm trying to keep this thing out, you have a ruler. It only has 10 inches and no centimeters. What you do is you lift it up, and over here, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to try. See these little gold things that I'm touching? Um, those are the things, and then... It have holes on top on this part, like that. Like over here, and you slap it down and hole punches your paper. And hole punches your papers. I'm sorry, I'm so tired and I'm not talking straight. <sighs> I had a long day at school. I had to watch a two-hour document documentary on titles. I fell asleep, but rudely I was woken up by my teacher, so I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, because I couldn't. I like I tried. In this pencil case, I just have a few pens and a bunch of mechanical pencils, which I will take out for you. Um, these are the colored ones. Um, I I like to get the point nine lead because the point seven. A lot of people like the point seven, but I find that breaks too easily. So I said, you know what? I'll just get the point nine because I hear that does not break. I do a lot of research before I buy anything. I'm like OCD with that. Trust me. I'll like say, oh, like, um, I'll watch a bunch of organizing videos and say, oh, you know what? That's, that doesn't work well. But I like, yeah. And then here I have my merit badge selections for the summer camp I'm going to. I have, if you can't see it, it says photography, environmental science, orienteering, citizenship in the world, first aid, and art. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's what it says. Um, and then, it's just like a note batch selection, so I know what I'm doing. And that's one of the papers I'm going to be looking at repeatedly, as I said. Um, oh, sorry, this video's taking so long. I just will bend some detail. And then over here, you have... Sorry. This thing is going to leave it. Uh, I have poor reinforcements that I did not put in yet. But, here I have all the note badges that are offering at my summer camp, plus the prereqs. So, note badge, prereq. Done. And now, um, sorry if my voice comes out a little staticky. I'm not using a camera. I'm using my um computer camera because I don't have like a camera because mine broke. Um, I, and either way, it's just like a photo camera. It's not like a video camera. 
Every time I put my, I, I'm so bloated today because every time I put my chin down, I get the double chin. I'm so bloated. I had like a lot of salt today. And then again for Hawk, I have a few more things. My night bed letters because I have to do Felix and it just says like, um, anything you choose has completed requirement, blah, 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 for blah, 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 my bed. And then back here, I have a medical. Because I have to print out three medicals and sign three of them and put my name on it and fill out three. And it's just, it's annoying. Because, and then I have to give one to my troop. I have to give one to the, to the camp, Hawk. And then I also have to give, and I have to keep one handed. It's just so annoying. My hand was tied up a while before I had to sign so many places. Oh god. Yep. And then on to the fun stuff with the worksheets. Here I have in my first tab that says, I think you can source here because I can source it through the camera. It says ego merit badges. Now I don't, um, I don't do like um, I used to do the thing where I put ego merit badges in progress and ego merit badges done, elective merit badges in progress and elective merit badges done. But you know what? My binder got way too bulky, and you know what? I said you know what? I'll put in the folder and I'll show that to you guys later. But here, here's what I do for all my badge worksheets. First, in front of anything, all my worksheets, I put the requirements. Now, I got these requirements of scout, uh, scout, scouting.org. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be saying them because I'm, um, plagiarizing or whatever, but I'm not saying I'm owning it. But, um, here, I have first aid requirements, and if you go to scouting.org, like I said, I'm so sorry, I am just so tired. You go to Scouting Out of you go to Introduction to Merit Badges, and they give you all the Merit Badges and the pictures, and then you click on the Merit Badge, and then it shows you all your requirements. And then it has like a resource down below for like worksheets and pamphlets. And then, right behind that, I just have the worksheets. They stayed. Now, I did not view Angie yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in chronologic order. So like when I said that, I'm going to go back for it. This part where I said about the um merit badge selections, um, I was gonna do it in order of what I have them, maybe, and but I'm not gonna because it's not like school where I have like different schedule, like it's at different times. It's the same throughout the whole week. So yeah, that's what I would do because I'm not switching every day. But that's what I would do. Like I said, climbs, then worksheets, and then my electives. I do the same exact thing. Some of them I have the printed out pamphlets, like for environmental science. I have printed out pamphlets. I'm not going to take it out because it's pretty bulky. But here's the front page environmental science, and that's just the pamphlet printed out on the pamphlet. And it's, and it's like uh, double sided, so it doesn't take up that much room. And then I have the elective merit badges. Um. And then I have orienteering with its requirements. Also, anything that your scoutmaster or assistant scoutmaster hands you could be handy. Like um, I my um, one of my um, scout ma assistant scoutmasters. I just hate. I just hate him. And I, I know I shouldn't be saying that, but I just hate him. He gave us these sheets. And it was for orienteering. I'm also doing that hawk. So I you know I said I'll keep these and I'll just hole punch it. Uh, it's all about like compass, parts of compass, um, maps, and I tell you orient, all that. And I, found, and I said I, I think that'll be handy at all. So that's it. Then I have the worksheets right behind that. Um, and that's that. And then, he had that happens. Sorry, daydreamed. Um, I was talking about something else. And then I have a, a part of my binder called. A uh, notebook where I just keep my med badge notebook in case I have to jot something down or I have to make corrections or something or anything really that can not go on a worksheet, I put right here. Um, I like this notebook. I got it from um, Stop and Shop Smart Living Brand. Sorry, my bind is going off. Um, I do not like spirals, but I do like the hole punches. So I looked everywhere for these because so I saw them once and I never saw them again. But I got this at Stop and, sh Stop and Shop, and um, I finally found it, and it's not a spile, but it has the hole punches so I can put it into a binder, but I don't like spiles. I absolutely hate them, because with the spile, the rings, they always get caught in papers, they always get, like, they always get, like, tangled, or they get, like, uh, bent, or they, and they always get caught in papers, and then, like, everything just gets messed up, and I don't like that. 
But this one is exactly like a marble, except it has so it has um so it has hole punches. That's about it. So it's like a hybrid. So it's a marble with hole punches, basically. And then I just have my last thing. Um, my last divider. I know I said I have five. I only showed you four because I don't use my fifth one. But here's my um homework and things to finish. One sec. Yeah. And then I just keep anything that I need to finish, like that night at Hawk, maybe. Um, and yeah. Um, and then about the dividers. Um, here is the. I got them at Staples. They're really easy to find anywhere. I, you can even get them out of Staples. This is what I was talking about. Um, it says. One second, try and get into the camera. Style Edge Insertable Plastic Dividers. I love them. They, they have, they, um, not paper, so they don't rip, and reinforced even rips, like, my friends have them, and they're all rips. Not from scouts, from school, and they have to use binders for math, and all their devices are even though it's reinforced. But yeah, and these things are plastic, so, pretty double. And then that is my binder. I keep any things that I shop for or bought, um, also, I might, if I get another binder, which I might do, I might put, like, um, my patrol stuff in there, such as, like, if I have to, for, like, a camping trip, if I have to do, like, duty rosters or anything like that, like, duty rosters or camp out planners, such as food and all that, I'll just keep it in a small stuff. Uh, this is a 2-inch orange better binder, by the way. I think 2-inch is perfect, because if you get a 3-inch a lot bigger, it doesn't hold, like, any more sheets. It only holds 60 more sheets. I don't get this. Tell me how this happens. The one half inch holds 400 sheets of paper. This is a two inch and it holds 140 more sheets, only a half an inch bigger. Yeah, a whole inch, it only holds 60 more sheets. Tell me how that happens. What? Um, I'm just, I, you don't need to, I'm just, like, I am just don't get that. But yeah, that's everything that has been with my binder. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this will help you. I don't always, and by the way, I do not always keep my pencil case in here. So I will take it out at times, um, because I don't like having a pencil case in here. But, I'll do it sometimes. And you know what, that's all my binder stuff. See ya. I'm sorry this binder was so, not this binder, this video was so long. I didn't want it to be, but I'm sorry. Well, anyway, see you next video. See you, see you in my next video. And if you have any more videos, just tell me. Alright, bye!